searching for gaming knowledge comes the man, the myth, a legend in his own mind, Critical. Welcome back guys and gals, Critical here. Today I'm bringing an episode of Subsistence on my hardcore playthrough. If you like what you see, consider leaving a like and possibly subscribing. All right. I have spent some extra time on this this world, getting it ready because of the update, and I knew about the update a day ahead of time. So I've made extra med kits, I went ahead and got all the supplies I needed, and then after the update, I spent some time in this world getting ready so I could do some testing with you guys. So let me show you what I've got going on. Okay, here's a grub. We'll, we'll do some of that in just a minute. I made, I was out here fishing, and I had a salmon on the hook and it had hunters attack me last night and they shot me in the head. Didn't kill me, but you know, still. So I went ahead and I extended under my, my little uh, dock here, underneath my house. I've got my fishing stuff here. This grub has been here all night. These lures have been here all night. There is no, the grubs and the lures do not spoil at this time. And that's what these two are gonna be testing, okay? I also put a white down here so I can fish at night. I did mess around with putting the white all, you know, the bottom of the white part was actually in the water, but it didn't it didn't light up the area enough. It was kind of dark. So if I turn the white off here and I'm fishing this way, it's not too bright. It actually works pretty good. And I'll show you that because we're about midday. I wanted to show you what my fishing hole looks like. But I have done some testing. Now, first off, Ray sent me a me uh, uh, comment in my... Uh, one of my last videos that the grubs can be stacked up to a maximum of 30. So that's good to know. I am going to grab two raw fish, a salmon, and a regular fish. We're going to be testing with this stuff in just a second. Um, from what I can tell, you can see those are the uh, extra uh, first aid kits that I made up. And I have been fishing for a while because I'm up to 17 fishing oil already. The, the fish can be stored in the refrigerator without going bad. Okay. Those two fish had been in there all night. The chickens and the rabbits spoil in the refrigerator slash freezer. But Cole Games, I mentioned it to him. I asked him if it was intended. And he said it wasn't. And that he would be updating that up in the next update. So that should be taken care of sooner rather than later. All right, I'm gonna split this in half. I'm gonna cook this one. All right, so people were asking me about fishing and animal housing. So here's what I found. You can feed your animal housing grubs. You get, you get 1% uh, food and you lose about 1% of, of your water. You, can, uh, you can't feed them a small fish you can't feed them a, a raw salmon filet. Now, this is gonna hurt, I'm losing resources, but because of a bug, you can feed them actual uh, salmon, the entire salmon, and that is such a waste of resources. But I wanted to show you so that you guys, one, don't make the same mistake, and two, you have the knowledge. And the cooked fish doesn't work either. And none of this works in the planters in any way, shape, or form. So that doesn't work. I'm gonna go ahead and put that away. Actually, I should just go ahead and eat you and then cook this one. Might as well. Then we're gonna go out and try to find a locked chest. I wanna go mess with some rogues. Maybe with some hunters. And I wanna try out some premium arrows today. I've had them for a while, but I haven't tried them. And just to, to prove the point, you can't put cooked fish in here either. And Cole Game said, no, that was an oversight and he'll get that fixed. So if you, for some reason, really, really, truly want to, for some unknown reason, feed your chickens and your rabbits seafood, you can until Cole Games fixes it. But you'd be a fool to give up the uh, the fillets and the oil up to three, two to three oil per salmon 
that you can get. And most of my salmon gave me three oil a piece. So it was definitely worth it. All right. This grub, I just wanted to see if the grub, if anything happens to the grub, if it's sitting in, a, in the refrigerator. I'm pretty sure nothing happens, but I want to check it out. You never know. Uh, let me check my notes real quick. Make sure there's nothing else. Uh, nope, that's it. That is everything I have found. Um, the grubs do have a state. Oh, that's iron. And I shouldn't pass up iron. Oh, one other thing that the update did, and I did not put this in my update video or in my live stream. You can no longer equip a weapon in the water. You can have the axe, you can have the pickaxe. But if you have the nine mil, it goes, disappears. I can't, it's just telling me you can't equip a weapon underwater. I can pull that out. So why does that matter? Well, the problem with that is the animals can still come under the water to attack you. So let's say you're diving for kelp and you get too close to the edge. You can have an unfortunate uh, encounter with a wolf or a bear that comes raging into the water. And not only can't you run away, now you can't shoot the damn thing because you're underwater. I think Cole Games needs to look at that. Oh. Hi, I thought you were not there, but you are. And you're still by yourself, which is odd. I would have thought by now that you would have a friend, but okay. Let's see if I can jump across the rocks and not piss them off. Yes, yes I can. All right, we're gonna go over here. I need to get some more grubs. You know, fishing is, is something that's important. I need to get I mean, I didn't make a lot of first aid kits. It's not like I have enough to last a week or two. Right? I got enough to last a couple of days. Especially if I uh, if I play this like I normally do, where I'm always going after rogue hunters and doing stupid stuff. I'm going to need all the first aid kits I can get. I also need to get some more medical plants. I need to pick up some more cloth because making all those first aid kits really, really sapped my supplies. I don't mind, but yeah, like I said, I got lucky I had a, an inside info on what the the patch was going to do, what the update was going to do, so I got on it busy. So what I did was I went ahead and let my laptop update so I could see what, it, uh, what the update was, and then before I did my live stream, I went ahead and spent time in this world and my softcore world getting ready for the update. And then knowing that the hardcore playthrough wouldn't be played until Friday, when you guys see it on Friday, I'm playing it tonight, Thursday. I knew that I needed to, that the update would happen already. And I needed to come in here and get first aid kits taken care of. I had to butcher all the animals. And Cold Game says he is going to fix that. Your animals shouldn't spoil if they're in a refrigerator. That was another oversight. He'll be fixing that in the next patch, hopefully. And so, yeah, I, I got rid of a lot of animals in this playthrough. On my other playthrough, I left them in the refrigerator, testing to see if they would uh, to, uh, spoil, and they did. So, I mean, I'm, I'm glad I tested it because I really wanted to know. You know, so it's good information, but the loss of all those chickens and all those rabbits, it does hurt. Fortunately, they weren't um, high level. They were just like level ones or zeros, so no big issue. Well, actually, they're all level zeros because they didn't get any animal housing at all. But I do need to grab a chicken today. Yes, I'm grabbing my chicken to add it to the animal housing. As you can see, I also upgraded my bow to the next level. So I, I've been busy. I've been I only been attacked twice. Once by a rogue hunter camp. Oh hi guys. And then another time by a uh, that one lone hunter that I have who hasn't spawned a friend yet. And I'm very surprised that I'm not seeing his friend. 
I thought for sure he would have a... And I'm not talking the second base. I'm talking the second hunter. I thought he'd be spawned in already. Maybe I'm so used to the co-op world that I forget that it doesn't... It's not like that in the, heart, in the, uh, uh, in the regular non-co-op. Yeah, I know you're going to be... You're going to aggro on me, but... I wanted to... Make sure that this first shot counts. <laughs> okay, I think that's a bit overkill with a uh, with a, a two arrow in the head. Oh, he shot his own guy. That's awesome. I'm not gonna waste that premium arrow. Come here, I want to shoot you in the body because you're fully armored up. Okay, cool. So a level two bow with a premium arrow will kill a fully armored up hunter. Switch to my regular arrows again. Come here. Where's your head? You don't have a helmet. Neither do you. Oh, I missed his head. Oh! Ah, stupid body armor of his. I shot the rock. I shot the stupid rock. Oh my lord. Step out. Step in. Step out. Oh, it was an arrow. I couldn't see it, but I had a feeling because the way he was walking around that he would. All right. He reloaded after he was dead. Now, I know that's happened in the past. You can get that sound, but that one scared the hell out of me. I thought there was maybe a fifth one I didn't know about. All right. That's three boxes. I didn't do too bad. I mean, I did take... I'm not going to heal yet. I don't want to waste... I'm actually going to conserve first aid kits now because they're so uh, expensive and hard to make. I'm missing a box. The first guy died right here. And I thought I got his second... These three right here. I got all your boxes, right? Nothing hiding in that bush. Oh, over here. Okay. Okay. Well, not bad. 12 planks. Some gears. Awesome. And let's go ahead and eat the fish. And drink the water. And let's refill the water. So the game definitely got harder. Be careful of animals coming after you in the water. You can't shoot them unless you're on the surface now. Uh, you have to fish for... You have to go fishing to catch fish to make fish oil so that you can have a chance to make first aid kits and I didn't make any extra antidote so all that fish oil I made up I'm probably going to turn that into antidote because you need the medical tonic for that too but all in all I like the update I think the update's very good fishing is something people have been uh, asking for for a long time in the forums and I'm kind of surprised how people aren't happy with the update. I mean, I guess what it is is, okay, cool, you added fishing, but now you're forcing us to fish. What if I don't want to fish? I, I don't know. In real life, I don't fish anymore. I did when I was a kid, but uh, I actually have played, you know, Bass Pro, what? I think, God, back then it would have been like 1993 Bass World Hunter Pro Championship or something like that. So, I mean, it can be fun. And Cold Game says that he is looking to make changes to fishing to uh, add a natural fishing line and uh, where your movements might uh, affect the lure, which might affect your chances of catching a fish or speed up your, your fish catching. Because right now, it can take a little bit you know, up to two, sometimes three minutes to catch a fish. Which is pretty rough. I would like, if it's possible, to code uh, fishing to be a little bit faster if you're fishing at night and you have a light. Because most fish will swim toward a light looking for food. I think. I think. I, I know fish do it, but I, maybe I shouldn't say most fish. But I know fish will swim toward a light to find food. And if you're, if you set up a, a nice uh, fishing area and you actually have a light there, that would be cool. Also, why I like the idea of a, 
uh, instead of a wood bobber, using a glow stick bobber to attract the fish uh, better as like an upgraded lure. And you can actually fish at night without a light, which also would be kind of cool too. If you're out and about and you didn't have your, your nice base set up. Ugh, just one berry. That hurts. It's berry-tastic. That sucked. I need more berries. Give me berries. Though fiber is good too. All right, come on, hunters. Where are you? Now, one thing that people have mentioned already, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna expand on their idea was earthworms using the gardens you upgrade the garden so that you can um, I don't want to say grow because you're not really growing earthworms but you can collect earthworms from the dirt and then you would feed it in my in my idea you would feed it the rotten meat because the worms would like the rotten meat would be great uh, worm food that would work but we would have to have a lure that's permanent, so the upgraded lure. But then cold games would have to balance the the grubs and the worms. And I have an idea. So if you're using a grub, let's say you have a 75% chance of ca catching a salmon. You have the same chances of catching a worm as any lure. But salmon versus small fish, you'll have 75% chance. If you're using a worm, it's reversed. You have a 75% chance of catching a small fish and only a 25% chance of, of catching a salmon. That way, yes, you can gather more worms quicker and have a, a ready source at your base, but your chances of catching the, the premium fish that can give you between two and three. Uh... Oh, hello. I'll back off two or three fish oil plus food it would be much harder to catch I think that's a good balance now I'm not sure if those numbers are good and I'm not sure how the the programming goes but the idea is sound I think I'll mention it to Cole game see what he says maybe you never know All right, let's get some more grubs I mean what is the world of systems come come to I'm Oh, I already hit this one. I'm actually getting wood on camera so I can get tiny little worms. Seriously, what does the world come to? I need to get some more meat and fat, so come here. Perfect. He almost got a hit. He went to bite. Fortunately, I moved back just in time and sh or and or shot that final round I needed cool too fat from that wolf I'm happy plus the wolf was in my way and I wanted to get a grub get out of my way wolf I want grub anybody seen critical oh yeah he's out grubbing it sounds like a, a bad hangover maneuver what happened to you last night Dude, you don't want to know. I went out grubbing. That sounds horrible. I feel dirty just for thinking of it. Oh, God. Might go for another wolf. Might not. Oh, man, look at this. Holy... I just fall four wolves on the map within a few seconds. They're you know not that I mean not that far apart. That is interesting. That is a lot of freaking wolves in this area. Oh, and this poor hunter, I hear him getting killed by animals a lot. Speaking of the devil. I don't see him. Did he get picking up by a wolf already? Or a bear? I wonder. Nope, there he is. He's doing his regular hunter thing. Maybe tomorrow he'll he'll uh 
have a buddy. And another good reason why I want to pause the video and bring you guys back when the sun comes back up, because I do want to check on that. I'm hoping we'll get an attack. You can see what they do. What, I, what I've seen so far, I definitely want to put a second BCU up. And I want to put the second one. I like where my, my BCU is now. The problem with it is they want to go on top of that rock and up there and throw grenades down on the middle of my base. And they stand here and shoot and that kind of stuff, which is fine. But I'd rather have the BCU in this corner so that they don't want to come from that rock or that rock. They really only want to come from right here. And it gives me a uh, one direction to fight them. I think that would be a better option. So I told you grubs don't spoil. This grub hasn't spoiled. And this grub hasn't spoiled. Let's go ahead and make some more tackle. Keep the supplies here so we can easily make them. And we'll come down here. You know, we might actually... Oh, no, I wanted to pause. As I say, I might just keep you around and we'll go fishing, but... Oh, he's definitely... I actually wanted to put him into the, the housing, but I got back here too late. Oh, well. I wonder if he likes that fish. Some rotted meat. I had a piece of chicken on me. I forgot to eat it. Let's go ahead and put that in there. I'm just going to drop my stuff in the drop and run chest. Perfect. I like the salmon as a, as a cooked food. I don't think it's as... Oh, actually, you know what? I can test that. I forget what the numbers are on a, on a normal steak. Let's go ahead and cook the normal steak. Now, people were... I know I mentioned it, but I want to bring it up again. We used to let liver spoil so we could use them later on to make antidote. You can't do that anymore because the liver turns into this rotten mess instead of a rotten liver. So you can no longer use a spoiled liver to make antidotes. Be careful, you you know you don't want to uh, fall into that trap. Wow, I am really shy. I picked some up, right? Only three. Ooh, I need to plant more medical plants because I am definitely short. turn those into antidotes because that's definitely an issue. I'm going to take that grub out of there. There's no reason to keep a grub in the refrigerator and I'm not failing to the damn chicken. Though, I have to admit, I think a chicken would like grubs. To be honest. Let's make another tackle. Get my supplies out. Oh, I gotta catch on that uh, that salmon. I don't want it to burn. You know what? I might... Let's see. I think I'm gonna go ahead and not pause until morning. We'll just go fishing real quick. Come on. I wanna see the meat. What's the... 29, 24, 3, and I get a 5. So it's not as good as a steak, but very close. Almost such a small amount that it doesn't matter. Alright, antidotes. It takes three plus my... Oh, I don't have enough. Not to... It, yeah, I have one. Alright, I need to get some more kelp. I'll put the livers back so they don't go bad. And then let me show you my fishing hole, how it works. Basically, you know, it makes basic sense. But when I stand here, like I said, I shouldn't get attacked by those damn hunters. Maybe we'll get lucky and while I'm fishing for a minute or two, I'll get attacked. Now, one thing you can do is you can reel this right until it says retrieve tackle. And as soon as you hook the fish, you can hit E or F, depending on what your settings are, and, and land the fish right away. You don't have to wait. So that saves a, it saves a several seconds. You don't have to throw it out in the middle of the lake and then try to fish that way. You can literally fish right at your feet. Come on, give me a salmon. Give me a salmon for the camera. The 
that quickly. There we go. And, oh, it's a small fish. But see, I didn't have to reel it in. I didn't have to move. I can instantly catch it. Let's try one more time. Okay, sometimes if you do it too short, you can lose the, uh, the lure. Yeah, I lost it. Because it, uh, it didn't show up. It went under. So you do have to kind of cast it out there a little bit. And then bring it back in. So if you cast it too shallow, it'll break. I wonder if it's underwater. No, because it, 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 it was letting me reel it. It just wasn't showing the bobber. I guess I could have just sat there and waited until I heard the sound. Maybe I'll try that the next time it happens and we can see if I can still catch it even if I can't see the bobber. Come on. Don't you want my, I was gonna say my worm. Don't you want my little grub? It's twitching and moving all around just for you, fishy. The fish doesn't want my grub. No, I do, it's kind of odd. Oh, look at that, iron. Oh, I got you, come here, stupid fish, let's go. Let's go. I shake. This, I am shaking the screen. Sorry. I always blame Bloodstalker. I'm looking away. I'm looking away. Come on, just give me a fish. Guess that didn't work. Now this is one of those longer times where where I have to wait to get a fish. But I mean, if you have nothing else to do at night, collect grubs during the day while you're out and about, and then collect fish and two small fish. Oh well. Can I? Ah, I'm not going to be able to get that iron. It's too far in. Oh, hunters over there. I wonder if that's my new regular hunter camp. But you're going to have to find... There's hunters right in my area. They're beating on wood. Okay, this is going to be good. Next episode should be interesting. I got two new hunter camps to check out. But my time's up for today. I've been critical. This has been subsistence on my hardcore playthrough. If you liked what you've seen... Please consider uh, leaving a like and subscribing, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.